Okay, sorry for the abrupt cutoff there. I'm going to try to combine this video with the other video after I'm done. I think I can do that on an iPad. I hope so. Um, so, uh, let's see. Biden. Yeah, Biden's, Biden's going to win. Let's just put all the juju there. So let's see. I wish I had I kept better track of all the different dreams I ha I've had, but I've had some doozies as usual. Um, I had um, I had a dream about what I think are maybe um, automated vehicles of the future. I was in um, some kind of futuristic car that was really wide. It was almost wide like a helicopter, and almost shaped like a you know like with the curved sides like a helicopter i was with my brother in this car driving down a road except i, I wasn't driving it um it was self it was self-driving and we weren't actually fighting for our lives like i would be in a <laughs> in an automated car that currently exists um i wouldn't trust a self-driving car at this point in time me personally um not because I mean, they're probably, they probably make less mistakes than humans, but they probably make stupider mistakes when they make them more random. Like they interpret something in the road as a, you know, whatever, uh, a cardboard box and it's a human being. <laughs> and then next thing you know, no, sorry. That's just, uh, that's awful. Shouldn't have said that, but, oh, well, morbidity. What, what can you do? Um, so anyway, so we're going down the road in this automated car, but we're getting to the end of a road that is over like a body of water, like a lake and the road just ends. And I'm just thinking, uh, okay, what's going to happen? And we get to the end and the car goes right over the top and basically sprouts into a helicopter. Um, and it pilots itself over the body of water. It's like a, it's like a, more like a river, really. It's not really that wide because we weren't flying over the river for too long, maybe a minute. But I was aware that the vehicle had had automatically transformed its mode from that of a land vehicle to an air vehicle without us touching a button. And I'm looking again around the cabin of this thing, and the, and then the the fact that it looks like a helicopter inside kind of makes sense because that kind of was and then we're getting to the other side of the of the river and i'm thinking well is it gonna go back to the car mode like and land us on the other bank but it doesn't instead there is a how do i describe this there's like a there's a hole cut into the side of the hill <coughs> on the opposite side that is like a landing pad so imagine a hill like this you know and then like this little port cut out of it here and then we're fl we're flying and we're kind of looks like we're going to maybe land on the land but no then the port opens and we go into the port the wings fold into themselves and we slide in and then we kind of go like around a uh, a little intake and then we're back to being a car again and that was all that dream was so, don't know what that's about exactly. Um, what else? What other dreams are back there? I did have a dream that I can't remember enough about to really make it meaningful, but I know that 45 was in it. And it was something about, it was weird. It was like, it was kind of like being at a, at a big chain restaurant, like a, like a kind of tacky chain restaurant like an Applebee's or something with a ton of people and it was really full in there and people were just doing their thing and then at like some table in the back you know Fathead was sitting there being loud and gesticulating and doing his little routine his little comedy routine for his party of friends and like nobody else was paying any attention to him. He was just like, he was just an annoying presence in the room. So that's not much of a dream. Not super exciting. I, I apologize. Um, well, this one's a little weirder and maybe, maybe more interesting. I had two dreams 
about being underground, um, like in some kind of underground labyrinth. It was almost like there was a <laughs> hidden hidden city or cities beneath the earth that we didn't know about. And you know, now with all this alien talk, who knows? I mean, God only knows. Maybe there really are. I mean, cities down in the earth that we don't know about. But um, there were two separate dreams, and one was a driving was another driving dream. Pardon me. Thanks for indulging me. One was a, another driving dream where I was with someone, but I don't know who it was. Again, in a futuristic vehicle driving underground but we were navigating a, a, a tunnel underground to get from one place to another i don't know if we were taking a shortcut from an above ground city to another above ground city by taking an underground tunnel not sure maybe or we were taking a detour from an above ground city through an underground tunnel to an underground city <laughs> um but the tunnels we were traveling through were kind of narrow like if this is the size of the car, then the tunnel was like this big. But the tunnel was filled with stone and like like a partial road. And then it was also filled with like strips of organic material. They almost looked like giant-sized muscles and tendons and ligaments around the cave. It was so strange. And so it was like a mix of stone and dirt and in organic material and and it wa it wound like it wasn't like all um most of the organic material was on the ceiling and most of the stones were on the floor but it wasn't uniformly so so some of the mus the muscle like l you know a tendrils would kind of like um dip down into the tunnel and so you had to navigate the car around them oh the car could levitate the car could fly it was a flying car I didn't mention that part. Um, so we were we were navigating around the tendons through the tunnel. And I, I think I might have even said something like, is this really worth it to go? Or, or No, wait. Which way was it? Either the person with me said, is it really worth it to go this way? And then I said, yeah, this is a shortcut. Or it's the other way around. I said it to the other person. But either way, apparently it was a shortcut. And you just had to know how to navigate it. What the hell is that about? No idea. Um, is this really, is this an entertaining video? <laughs> Cause this is why I haven't been on as much lately. Like who's going to watch this? Um, and what are they going to make of it? Um, but it's, these are my real dreams. So, uh, who knows what they're about? Uh, well, you don't have to watch. <laughs> um, though I do wonder sometimes if I should continue to make them. Anyway, and then the other underground dream was after that one, as I recall, but not, but, but not by too many days. And in that one, there's, there's a lot I can't remember about that one, but there, there was a lot to it. There was like a whole kind of society going on down in this underground area. And the weirdest part about it was... I was aware of a of a being, sort of like an energy form, a being who was more like a, I don't know how to describe it exactly, a, a bit of a troublemaker, let's put it that way. And, um, you know, sprite-like and mischievous. And this being was, I don't know if this being was sort of like causing trouble for humanity from below ground and now it's not the obvious thing it's not like a devil figure not like that but um but this being was clearly kind of operating in the shadows and there was one scene that kind of took place in a round underground room again uh, uh like a a, a, ca a carved out p area almost like a cave underground with a lot of rocks and dirt. And this being um, reanimated um, some people from the dead. It, it gave them artificial life 
like zombie life in order to control and manipulate them for some purpose. And I saw like a flash of light in the, in, in this room, in this kind of tunnel, like cave and, um, like where the being kind of zapped the people who were there and then they, they reanimated and it seemed like they would only reanimate for a period of time to serve the purposes of this not entirely benevolent, um, energetic form. And that was, that was strange. Like that's where like sometimes the energies that I'm, they seem to run into, into dreams are foreign to me. They're not, they don't seem human. They don't seem human. I don't know if they're, they really are energies that exist out there somewhere that are, um, you know, that there are, are real energies like this weirder weirder stranger more incomprehensible energies than we experience here on earth as far as we know but it's a it's a big old mysterious universe uh, who knows what the heck's out there um the only thing i can say is that there never seems to be a pro a problem with um these these dreams like like i have a dream like this and it's weird and I wake up and I'm like, what was that? But it doesn't, it doesn't change anything about my day. Like very rarely, like I mentioned before, very rarely a little of the energy might kind of stick, stick with me a little bit. Like, like I feel like it's a little sticky and I got to get rid of it. I got to clear it out, pray it out a little bit, white light it out, but not usually. Usually it's more like watching a movie. So like you go see a horror movie and you see crazy things and then you, well, depends how scary the movie is. Then sometimes you just go about your day and brush it off. Other times it does stick with you and it, you know, it sort of recycles in your, in your mind, in your memory. But um, most of the time I just kind of wake up and go, wow, what was that? Where was that? Who was that? And then I just go about my day. And it's not a. It's not a hindrance, but it is strange. So, who knows? Other dimensions? You know, is that is that is that true that I'm skipping? I'm skipping dimensions, like Kim said once. Kim Carey said once. Not sure. Got my buddy Shay right here. Maybe say a little little shout out. See if we can see him. Hey, buddy. Oh, there you are. Want to say hi? Love you. Oh, turn away. <laughs> um, he's great because he is a couch cat. Neither of my two cats ever wanted to sit on the couch with me, even though I always wanted them to. So, um, but he's he's a little more clingy in a nice way. Okay, now he's giving me grief because I'm trying to rub his belly. But you like it. Oops. Okay, that's that. Um, but he won't sit in my lap, or at least not yet. Someday. Let's see, I'm trying to think if there were any other dreams. There were some other ones. I know I just sort of threw out some random ones there. But were there any other ones of note? Not that I can remember. So I think I'll leave it there. I know I'm overdue for um, reading the next installation of my book, Forgive Me. I'll try to get on that as soon as possible. And... um. I hope things are well for you. You know, these are the winter doldrums of Buffalo for sure. Like when it, it gets so dark in at the end of December after Christmas. Every year I know it's coming and I think it's gonna be different than other years. Like, ah, this year I won't I won't feel like I wanna <laughs> you know, jump off a cliff. And then every winter, the depth of winter, inevitably I do. <laughs> And it's awful. It is. It's tough. It does test your. It does test your will. And um, I try to be as involved with any creative projects I've got going as I can be. So when music is calling to me and I'm on the computer and working on music, then I'm then I'm pleasantly distracted by that. Um, and now 
then it's always the same thing too. Once once I get to about mid January, or late January, and then I notice the day is just starting to get long, a little bit longer, a little bit more of the daylight. That the little glimmer of hope is enough to be like, okay, all right, okay, you know. And um, we're going through a, a couple of days of melting here. We we haven't had any devastating snow really um, this winter. You know, we had a couple of decent storms, but nothing cray cray. And um, now it's all melting, so we'll get we'll hit the reset button on winter here and get back to it. I don't know what winter is like. Well, let me say that, let me let me rephrase this. Let me take that back a little. I'm gonna say I don't know what winter is like in warm places. I bet it's a lot nicer, but I do kind of know because when I went to Key West that one December, geez, it was nice. Now I wouldn't want to be down there through hurricane season, but. It was a nice December reprieve. I should really get out more often in winter, by which I mean I should take more warm weather vacations to places because when I came back from that vacation, I swore that I would never forget how much it helped shorten the winter mentally. And then, of course, I I didn't make it a habit. I guess uh, we must like to suffer here. (laughs) in buffalo we're good at it but there are colder places too and more remote places too i mean at least this is a city i mean it's a city of a million people with its suburbs i live downtown uh there's there's always something going on if you want to be a part of it you don't always want to leave your house when it's 19 degrees it's it's true even to walk down the block and commiserate with your fellow buffalonians uh, and the drinking establishment or, or something like that, but, um, it's available. So, uh, no point to that really, other than just telling you a little bit about winter here. Uh, you are welcome to share your winter experience if you're feeling it like, uh, I have been, we have been too. And then, uh, you know, just starting to see the I mean, we're not close to spring, but we kind of are. Like in my mind, crossing through that 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 January dank is um, is a victory, and then I start feeling better, relatively speaking, <laughs> in February and on. Okay, so since I can't think of any other dreams of note, I'll leave it there, and I'll try to make it not such a long break. Thank you so much again for watching. I don't really know what you've been watching. It's it's just sort of you know. It's my show. It's my weird dream show. It's just uh, what I do. Okay. Take care. Best to you. Comments always welcome. Like, share, subscribe. That's what I'm supposed to say. And uh, see you soon. Be well. Bye.